Hey guys, um, today I thought I'd do another quick playthrough uh, on Killer Instinct on Very Hard. We're going to use Idle today and I'll show you a super easy way, well, I'll show you a couple super easy ways to beat the game with him. Uh, this is part of that series I've been working on where I have, um, if you guys have already checked it out, I already have eight of the characters done, I believe. Uh, I already have a, um, a playlist that has eight of, uh, eight of the characters playing through uh, pretty easily, you know, probably the best way to beat it with them. And, you know, there's no big combos in any of the videos. It's just a matter of getting from point A to point B because since it is a very hard, they like to break a lot of the combos you make. So, um, so it's best just to do, uh, keep it short and simple. And as they said, if you guys get a chance to check it out, definitely do. Uh, the only other person I need after today, I'll have Idol done today. And the only other person I need then will be uh, one of my favorites will be Saber Wolf. And I'll do him at another time. He'll be the last one. I'll have that entire, uh, the entire playlist completed at that time. So... But for today, like I said, we're going to do idle, uh, and as we're playing through the game, I'll show you not only how to pick him, but I'll show you uh, the best strategies for beating the game, you know, with fair ease. You know, there are some, you know, odd situations, but get through it fairly easy anyways. So let's get started, guys. So first of all, to pick idle, you've got to select sender, and then once it shows the next screen, hold right. So you hold right, you press, uh, you hold right, you press quick punch, quick kick, fierce punch, and then medium kick, medium punch, fierce kick. You do it on that versus screen, and hopefully you guys can hear it where it said idle. That means you've selected idle at that point. So, um, but yeah, it's, it's a, it's a pretty easy way again to get him, uh, to come up on your, you know, your list of characters to use. And, um, yeah, let's get started. So strategy one, you can just kind of hang back and let them do something stupid like that. Let's swing your bat and then keep the fireballs out of them. If it stops working, you just then do it again. Not too bad. Okay. Nations is, is especially falls for it. Yep, that's it. So I don't have no fatalities or humiliation or anything like that. You just have to. You can just kill them, that's it. <laughs> so. Thunder, same thing. And Thunder is good because it's on a large stage. So if you want, you just hang back here and keep the fireballs. And keep eating them. And you won't know what to do. <laughs> so. That's it. That's an easy one right there. <clears throat> so in the larger stages, you can t you can roughly do that. Cinder's a little bit different because Cinder, you know, can turn invisible. So in the smaller stages, you can also do it as well, but you have to hit them out of the air more often. You can also do this right here. You just do back forward quick punch. That's it. Keep falling for it. The problem with this one is it's a little bit more messy, so you'll take up they'll do a lot more damage to you. So in this situation, we'll just hang back and we'll do uh, the other strategy I just showed you. So it goes way right on there. Okay. <clears throat> that was a little close, but we got through it. So Cinder, he likes to jump a lot, so once he jumps, that, I just do the fireballs. What's cool is he'll keep trying to turn invisible, you can hit with the fireballs. If you're fast enough. Well, he usually does, instead of just keep it, jumping in. Like that. <laughs> so, 
He'll usually keep trying to, most of the time he doesn't do that. Most of the time he'll just keep turning invisible and he can just keep shooting the fireballs. If you time it just right, you can shoot the fireballs before he gets invisible and just keep hitting with it. <clears throat> Combo. I'll also do this to see if I can put the other strategy on. See, it's like back four quick punch. A lot of them don't know what to do when you keep doing that over and over again. But like I said, it does cost you more health is the problem. See, because I do get some hits in. That was a little bit slower one, but a lot of them didn't get through faster because a lot of them just keep taking the hits instead of blocking. Mm, I don't know if I can do that against Cedric. I'll, I'll start it to see what happens. I don't know. I feel like he's going to knock me around more. i just go with this route and just hang back. There's some fireballs. i do something stupid. Right there, missed it. There we go. Messed You gotta watch your health or your idle because um, every time you block, you're taking damage. So that's the bad thing. Yeah, every time you block, you're taking damage. So you gotta be careful with your health with the idle. That's the kind of thing that makes it a little bit more challenging. Riptor, I usually hang back and do the other strategy where I just let him do something stupid first. That wasn't it. There we go. They throw fireballs at you, you bat him back to him. Ooh, he's off to a good start. Smack him afterwards, make him punish, punish him for it. There we go. So see, it's not too hard, guys. You just gotta be patient, and um, you know, if you want to go that route, that's the defensive route. Just kind of hang back. The other route is just keep pushing back for a quick punch, and uh, sometimes it works. Where you just hit them over and over again, but not always. You can also pause them between each hit. That's him. Do something stupid. I hit him with it. You do it over and over again real fast. Oftentimes, I can hit you in the middle of it. With her, you can also just get back and throw fireballs over and over again. She usually eats them up. Spinal's a little trickier, because you can't ju jump kick him <laughs> like you can the other characters. But you still can kind of wait for him to do something stupid. He likes to jump in a lot like that from about that range. Just like that. Not always. So you gotta be careful. Sometimes he'll fuck this over and again too. But you gotta be careful with that because if you catch you with a big combo, it takes away a lot of health. There we 
works pretty good that time, but not always. Sometimes it'll start, it'll hit you right in the middle of that and it'll hit you, hit you for a, you know, like a 60 or 70% combo, you know? So it's pretty rough sometimes. Four more, same thing, just probably just do the hang back tactic. There we go, so of course idle's different. So with idle, most of the time when you first get to them, you get the big stage with idle, but not always. And if it's the bigger stage, you got a couple options. Let's see. Awesome, so you can keep batting them out of the air for one thing. So just kind of keep your distance to keep batting them out of the air. Like that. If you get the smaller stage, it's a little bit different. You have to use your fear sponge a lot more. So you can kind of keep them away with just that, that keep that distance and keep batting them away out of the air. But I will tell you this, what I've noticed for the most part, when you're playing idle, usually you get this large stage to begin with. You know, if you don't continue, you usually get this large stage, which is great for this kind of strategy right here. Otherwise, when he gets real close to you, if you let him attack first, you can just swing your bat, push that fierce, yeah, back and fierce punch like that. So I can let him do it a little bit. So, see, it didn't work though. There are some times where it won't work, so you gotta be careful that some hits he does, it won't work. So, Let's see if we can get it open. Okay. So just like that. So if you're on the smaller stage, you can let him back you in the corner if you want, or you don't have to, but you can, it's a little bit easier. And if you can time it right, you can just keep pushing, pushing back in a fierce punch after he attacks you. So there are, once in a while there's an attack though that he does where uh, he can get through the, slip through the cracks kind of, and he'll do it, he'll immediately do a combo to you. But as you saw right there at the end, you know, just let him hit you first and then just push back in the fierce punch. I love this ending, by the way. Reminiscent of the uh, Blanca ending from Street Fighter 2. Very much like it. I think it's kind of making fun of it, I guess. I love that. That's the bouncer. <laughs> Good stuff, man, good stuff. <clears throat> so anyways, guys, yeah, uh, so basically just a reminder to keep the strategy pretty simple. Uh, you, can, you can hang back most of the time um, and then knock them out of the air. You do that back forward fierce punch where they do something stupid, like, you know, an attack that leaves them open for a second. And then after that, just press back and medium punch. You'll start doing that stomp. And then do a half circle forward and fierce punch, and you'll do the, the three fireballs while he's, you know, while he's doing that stomp. And then usually it'll knock, you know, as you saw in the video, um, it'll, it'll just kind of, hit them while they're kind of far away. Certain people in certain stages, like, you know, you got, you got Chief Thunder, Orchid, um, you can just shoot the fireballs from a distance. You know, once you knock them away from you, just keep shooting the uh, push back and medium punch and then down forward fierce punch, or back to forward fierce punch and shoot the fireballs. And as you saw, it just it just depletes their health. They don't know what to do with those three fireballs coming at them. Uh, the other strategy is, if you want to, it's a little bit messier, like I said, you, you tend to lose more health, but just keep pushing back forward quick punch. You can do it real fast, and you can sometimes you can just you know hit them over, 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 over again, uh, or you can do it kind of slow. You saw me do it once or twice, where you know I let I'll, I'll do it once, let them attack, and I'll do it again, let them attack, I'll do it again. It's just that depletes your health. Remember, every time you're blocking with idle, you're losing health. So um, yeah, you're just uh, you know, setting yourself up for disaster real quick if you don't take care of the problem, um, because you know they start swinging, they start doing swinging quick punch a whole bunch of times. You know your health is just like slowly go away. Uh, and then when you get the idle, not too bad. As you saw, guys, usually, for the most part, you get the big stage if you get all the way to him without continuing. 
and then you can just keep them at a distance and keep batting them out of the air. Um, and then uh, on the smaller stage, on the other stage you get with him, you can just like let him get close to you and then attack. He'll do like a one a one move attack, and then you can um, push back, you know, block it, push back your first punch, block it, push back your first punch. So it's just uh, it's just that once in a while some of his moves slip through the cracks. When he does that, he does like a big combo and it takes away a good portion of your health, so if not all of it. So, anyways, guys, uh, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. It is a uh, very, not a very simple way to get through the game with idle, but fairly simple. It's not too bad. Um, again, it was very hard. I, you know, normally I'd be trying, if it was on a different difficulty, I'd be trying much bigger combos. You know, he's obviously got an 80 hit combo you can do, uh, but I'm not gonna risk it. Whenever you play on very hard on this game, they break everything. After the first couple guys, they start breaking anything over three or four hits. So that's why it's just to keep the, the combos small and, uh, and quick, if you're gonna do combos at all. With idle, you saw me hardly do any combos. I don't think I did any at all. <laughs> so, just the uh, just the fireball, the triple fireball, I guess. But um, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, and um, we'll see you uh, if you're interested in these videos. Like I said, I've got a whole playlist of them, uh, and I'll be doing the the uh, saber wolf saber wolf one here pretty soon. Right? He's the last one I need to do to add to finish off that playlist of uh, you know beating the game on um, the very hard difficulty level fairly easily, you know, so. Anyways guys, have a great rest of your day.